All right, guys. It's another tripod day. I got a new uh, battery, as you can see. This is out of a Hyundai uh, or Hyundai. Oh, what's this thing out of? It doesn't say on the sticker, but it's out of a Hyundai uh, hybrid. This is a 270 volt DC battery. This is lithium polymer. I've been looking for something like this for a very long time. And uh, this has got the, the, law, the wide flat cells, <coughs> kind of like my uh, LiPo ammo box. And we are going to be taking this apart and checking out the cells here. This one cost me $500. And hopefully it's good. They said if the cells are no good in this one, they're going to give me another one to try. They're very nice. But uh, yeah, we'll see what's going on. Alright, so I think this is ready to take <coughs> All right, so this is the module. I don't know how well you guys can see this. I'm gonna pick up the tripod. Hopefully not make too much noise for you guys. That is inside this battery. There is a bunch of cells. I'm not sure how many cells so far. I think there's like 60, something like that. Anyways, put you guys back down. Continue taking this part. I want to see the individual cells. I won't be happy till I have uh, that done, and then I'm gonna test them. Here we go. <coughs> First, I'm gonna disconnect all these PMSs. Looks like they're in packs of four. So pack, 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 pack. That's good. I'm, that's pretty good because that's about a 12 volt system. that I should be able to get a voltage reading on this pack. So you know what I'm gonna leave it like this for now. I'm gonna open all these so you can see them. Definitely gotta be very careful on this part. This will let me know if there's any dead cells, or it's gonna let me know if this pack is good at all. <sighs> okay, we'll find out. Let's see what we're dealing with here. positive end. We got, oh he smokes 26 volts per pack. I wonder it's so high. Maybe there's eight, eight cells in a pack. So we got 26 volts, 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 and 26 volts. Wow, this pack is in amazing shape. Across these two, 106 volts. Across these two, 
132 volts. Oh. That there is a single module, 26 volt lithium polymer battery. One, two, three, four cells, but there could be two cells in each. So super thin wafer, but I'm unsure. I have to do some research on this battery because I do not know what exactly this is. But that's awesome. Look at that nice compact little thing. You could use this as a bicycle battery. 24 volts. I wonder what the ampere capacity is. You got your balance leads coming out of here. So I just have to reuse one of these plugs. Got your, your 6S balance, balance leads for this baby. Oh, this is amazing. Anyways, time to keep going. Let's see what we got. So. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's ten modules at 24 volts wow that's awesome now let's take this off to the side for now we don't need this all right i'm gonna take you guys off the tripod for a second All right, so this is what we got. This is a lithium polymer pack. All right. So this is what it looks like, guys. Anybody that's interested in one of these packs. This is from a 2013. Car got crashed. But the battery is still good. And it's a small battery. Like, this is, you think, that's in a hybrid. How much can that really run? All it's doing really is starting up, you up to speed, and that's it. About when you hit the brakes, it charges it up a little. But I'm gonna do some testing with this now. So I'll put you back on the tripod. The only downfall with this being 24 volts 
is I don't have anything 24 volts to test this on. Nothing. And this is, in fact, a 24 volt battery pack. It's too bad. It's all put together so nicely. I really don't want to take it apart, but I'm going to try. I'm going to see if these will come apart. And hopefully, they don't wreck anything. So at 500 bucks each, 50 bucks, 50, 50, 50, 50. So I really don't want to wreck it. But if this is 50 bucks, man, that's cheap. Where else can you get a battery like this for $50? No ways that I know. Okay. So this comes out. Balance leads come across. Okay. On this side. Careful. There we go. Bounce these right up this side. Over to here. And this looks like it's. I don't know if this will come apart. These modules look pretty stinking. Strong in here. Hmm. The only thing I uncovered is where the balance leads go. All right, guys. So this is it. Looks like there is two cell packs in each. So that is two S or yeah, two S one P, two S one P, two S one P, two S one P. Looks like you get uh, the positive and negative coming out on one side and same on the other side so it goes through here through the battery through this side through the battery through that side through the battery and it just keeps going back and forth and that's what it is the pack came apart really easy with four screws and now all I have to do is cut down that metal one and then I got uh, two separate 12 volt packs I'm gonna just reconfigure this in a 12 volt configuration and I'll put it right back into that pack and that's it. Got to put my balance leads on it, and uh, this looks like it's. This is looking really promising. I am extremely happy with this this purchase so far. This is looking like a really good buy, and I'm going to be if these prove to have any good capacity in them at all, I'm going to be buying some more for sure. If you had another pack, uh, it was out of one year older vehicle, but we'll see how these turn out, anyways. So my first attempt doesn't look too pretty. First I tried tearing it off. Ended up with all these little chunks coming off, which is no good. So I just ended up cutting it. So if I want to solder something back on, I have to solder a wire. Uh, but it turned out. So I got my 12 volt packs. Looks like I'm going to get 20 12 volt packs out of this, just like this. So I'm going to go inside and test the capacity of this pack. I have to put some balance leads on it and whatnot, but and I'm going to look up uh, these batteries and see what kind of chemistry they are, and so I can figure out. I think these are probably uh, lithium phosphate or something, but I'm not sure. It said it said uh, in the guy's spec sheet that this is a lithium polymer pack, but I guess that still doesn't tell you. Just because it's polymer, it's soft. They don't always have the same. Uh, chemistry so I'm gonna look it up before charging I'm only gonna take one of these inside and I'm gonna give it a try and I'm gonna keep updating you guys as I go got a whole ton more battery there I'm wondering how many kilowatts of power I got maybe I'll have to make myself a little DIY uh, power wall with this system It'd be kind of neat